Hello guys, welcome to another weekly market review session. Okay, so let's get straight to it. Um, it's the end of October already. Uh, we've come to the end of the month and the markets are still down. Okay, so I'm on my SPY chart, S&P 500. And if we just take a look at seasonality, all right, so this equity clock, all right, something that I used to see the seasonality for S&P 500. You can see typically the last quarter, right? So October, November, and December tends to be bullish for itself, tends to be upwards in terms of its movement. Okay. But it has not done so. Okay. So typically, what we often see is that September it ends up dropping. Okay. There's a pullback in the market. And then October to December, we start rallying back up. But this hasn't been the case because if we look at the SP 500 currently, Okay, we can see we had a, around the start of October, we had a bit of a rally or movement up and then we pulled back lower and broke our support levels. So there was previously a support over here. Okay, so around my 420 levels, there was a support. You can see price came down here to test. Okay, if I zoom in a bit more. You can see price came over here to test and then after that it did go up and then after that it ended up breaking down and going lower for itself. Okay, now how much are we down so far? If I pull out my ruler over here okay, and I take the high from here all the way down here, we are down about 10%. Okay, we are down about 10% from this drop. Okay, now how do I or what is my perspective on the markets in the next two months? I, you know, some of them asking me, hey, um, October has already been bearish for itself, but then the seasonality shows that it's going up. What is your perspective on the next two months? Okay, very simple. So it can go two ways. Okay, all depends on our price levels and how the price action goes. Okay, now, number one, if I draw my trend line, Okay. Okay, so if I draw my trend line, you can very, very clearly see that we are at the bottom of this move. All right. So our price is going up, down, up, down. So when stocks move, guys, they don't move in one straight line, they move in a wave. So even this downwards movement we've been having, we go up, we go down, up, down, and now we are at the bottom of this. Okay. If I were to draw it out for you. I think you guys would see it even more clearer, okay? We have a movement down here. This is my point one. Go up point two, then come down here, point three. Go up here, point four. And then now we're on the fifth movement down. All right? Very, very obvious, okay? So this is how stocks typically move. Now, like I said, if I draw my trend line, you can see we are close to the bottom all right, so we're at the bottom, close to the bottom to be. <coughs> this is a little bit oversold because if you see previously for this movement, once the price came down to my line over here, we had a temporary pullback back up. All right, same thing down here, close to my line or touch my line, then slight movement back up. So now that we are here, okay, I am expecting at least for the short term, definitely a bit of a pullback. Overall, I'm still for the short term, I think it will be more sideways to bearish if it continues downwards, but expect a pullback up. So I wouldn't be going crazy and shorting straight into this because you never ever short into a support. You want to pull back up, okay? And then after that, you consider your swing trades when there's a reversal, okay? So for those of you who are seeing the markets come down, you want to do your swing trades and short, uh, don't rush into it, okay? Don't short into a support, never ever do that. Wait for the pullback first. Okay, so another perspective is this. Okay, next thing is another indicator you guys can use. So I use my 20 EMA as well as my SMA 100. Okay, and typically I use this to see whether the markets are bullish or non bullish. Okay, so what do I mean? If it can stay above for 14 candles, then it tells me that there is bullishness in the market and we are likely will be in a bull market. If not, then it will be a non-bull market. 
doesn't necessarily mean we will be in a bear market. Doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to go down further. But it's just a non-bull market. Right? So what do I mean? Very simple. So if you take a look here, when the COVID crash happened, okay, back in 2020, okay, back in 2020, you can see the price over here. After 14 days, it stayed above these two lines. We ended up rallying up. All right? You can see a very nice movement up over here. Okay, so just to highlight to you, all of you, down here, after it stayed above for about 14 days, breaking these levels, these two uh, lines, continued up all the way and we had this massive rally. Okay, now, next. Okay, you can see over here, once we broke, so again, once we stayed below for 14 days or more, we broke and we went down further for ourselves. Okay, we came up to test this point again and then we ended up going down even further over here. Right, let's go to the current point. See, so you can see for April again over here, once we stayed above for about more than 14 days, then we had this massive rally and move up. Okay, now, unfortunately, if you look at the current prices, okay, you can see very, very clearly over here that my prices have stayed below my two lines for more than 14 days. All right. So, so far for a short term, uh, I will definitely not be uh, bullish. I won't be bearish. Okay. It is showing me that we are in a non bull market. Okay. In the coming days, definitely we can have some pull back up. Where my E pull back to, the first level will be over here. Okay, I don't think this is very hard, but this is the first level of 420 that it can go to. Now, after that, where is the next point it can go to? Up here. All right, which is my 437 levels. Okay, this is where it can possibly go up to for itself. Next. Okay, so when it pull back, you can expect it first 420 if it breaks, may go to the 437 levels. Okay. Right. Now, the thing is, how will you know I change my perspective or how will we know whether we are back, you know, to bullishness for the mid to long term? Right? Very simple. It needs to break above this line. Okay, so my trend line over here that I draw, all right, not a steep trend line. Okay, if we can break above these levels, then we will have bullishness for itself i can say we will go back to more bullish movement probably end of the year in a nice bull run but if not then we may have pulled back up to the 420 or 437 level and then we may have further movement down okay why do i say we may pull back if i put up my sma 300 right you can see over here very very clearly we already hit the support. I rarely use the SMA 300. Okay. But if you scroll back, if you scroll back, let's go back. It has always been a good point for it to bounce, right? Bounce and move up for itself, okay? Here as well, bounce and move up. During this period was Trump, okay? And the US-China trade war. So because of that, moved it down further, okay? And this was COVID, okay? But during other times, you can see every single time comes close or around the 300 SMA and then it moves and bounces. Okay, same thing over here. You can see over here, hit my SMA 300 then bounce back up as well. All right, here also was a resistance point. Here also resistance till it moved down. Okay, so SMA 300 again, good point. And you can see my price is nicely at that point right now. Okay, we are at the SMA 300. So this is why I said just now with my trend line that I drew, if I draw for you again, 
we are at the bottom of the support. All right, we are touching the support. We're trying to break these levels. You don't short straight to this. Wait for the reversal back up and then come back down. All right, for those that are doing swing trades. Now, day trading, still the best way to go because each day's market movement, you take it as it is. That is what our team and our community here are still doing. Okay, now investments wise, this is the best time guys for you to be doing your dollar cost averaging. Okay, so when the market's pulling back like 10%, these are the points you should be adding for your shares. Not when markets are high, but when it's at a down. Because when we talk about investments, we are talking about 10 or 20 year periods. Okay, so these are the periods where you should be investing in your stocks. What are the stocks? For me, very simple. It's my index, my SPY, my QQQ, my SPYG. These are the ones that I would say. Okay? For those of you that invest in individual stocks, make sure it's fundamentally good companies uh, that you're looking at. Okay? Ones that you really believe for the long term. These are the times when you should be dollar cost averaging for your long term investment. Okay? Now, if market drops further, all right, so I gave you guys the bullish perspective. Okay, must break 420, 437. And finally, my trend line over here, okay, this trend line, for it to have some bullish movement. Okay, so this trend line probably is around the 439, 440 level. If it breaks my trend line, then we will have bullish movement. I can say we are back to bullishness. Okay, now... What happens if we pull back to the 420 or 437 then we come back down? How low can we go? Very simple. Okay. You can pull out your SMA 200. Okay. This is for a weekly chart. This is my black line. You can see. Okay. Again, this guy for a long-term perspective has always acted as a good support. All right. You can see during the COVID crash, it went around these levels. When below is. All right, for a couple of days and then went back up. Here, okay, 2018 during the US-China trade war, he didn't come, he just came close, he went back up. You can see over here, during the bear market last year, okay, October hit its bottom and then we started to rally back up. Okay, so this was the bottom. Huh? So literally every time it hits the 200 SMA on the weekly, okay, every time prices hit there, Typically, we are around the bottom area for itself. Okay? So, if market drops some more, all right, after the pullback up, where or how low can it go? It will go to my 200 SMA. You can see this is around my 400 to 383. All right? 383 to 400 levels. All right? That is the general range you are looking at. Okay? So, watch out for this again. It's not like the market is going to plunge straight down and go down all the way. Okay, market doesn't move that way. Expect pull back up. And then if it's going to continue down, it will go down words like that. Okay, if this is a temporary bottom, like what I'm showing you, it's a bit oversold. End of my trend line on my 300 SMA. Okay, and it does decide to rally. Then... It will have to break first here 420, 10, 437. Then only we will must break my trend line. Okay, which is the one that I drew here. Then only we will have further upside movement. Okay, so this is how the markets are looking. All right, when it's for the end of October, now November, December, again, a lot of time for it. We may have a really good rally towards the end of the year. For the mid to long term, I'm still bullish. But for now, short term, I'm bearish. Um, sticking to day trades, swing trades, wait for that reversal back up before you take any swing trades. And then for long-term investments, again, 10, 20 years, your SPY, QQQ, SPYG, these are ones you should be dollar cost averaging into. Okay? So with that, that's the end of my weekly market review session. Um, there's nothing else for this session. So take care, guys. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next video.